Hi everybody, Timmy Amix here and today I want to show you how to achieve a look with just two nodes and the lock wheels. Another very quick tip today about look creation just with two notes. So what you learn today is how to achieve a split tone look and that's what the lock wheels are for. If you want to know how the lock wheels work just have a look at my other tutorial I will link it in the upper right corner. First I balance out my image a bit with the primaries just to bring the image in the right direction. And let's say we want to have a bit contrast in it. I do it only with my primaries just open the image a bit. This looks good so far. The skin has a nice tonality and the wall in the background has this bluish cyan magenta -ish touch. We will change this in a minute. Now I add a bit saturation just to bring in some life into the image and then I add another therial node and now I use only my lock wheels on this node. And what I want to do now is to change the lower shades into one direction and the upper into the another direction. The simplest approach is the opposite direction. I will demonstrate it. Look what happens if I push my shadow here more to, hmm, let's say into the bluish direction, something like this. Yeah, let's say we want to have a more fresh look and now I pull the highlight into the opposite direction. Maybe something more like this. Just a bit more into this direction. Yes, looks okay. I will end here and say a for this tutorial, but now comes the most important step. To bring this look for this image into balance, you should control where your sweet spot between the shadows and the highlights stays. So I start with my low range because I want to see where my image breaks with my bluish shades in the shadows. And look how the look of this image changes if I decrease my low range and I guess this is where my sweet spot is and now I bring down my high range step by step until it fits my look DNA. Yes, something like that. This is a great starting point to work out this look further. Now you know for what you can practically use the lock wheels, but be careful. The lock wheels can break your image if you go too far or if you not set the low range and high range correctly. So this is a great starting point to work out this look further and now you should be able to achieve a really great split tone as a look. And if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. You all a great time. Bye.